Welcome to the how to create a logon form tutorial. We have here an empty visual web group project with uh, a label on the uh, on the main form. So we'll start by adding a new form that will be our logon form. Let's call it logon. And let's go to the code and we have to add a new using directive and it will be gizmox.webgrid.forms.authentication and we have to inherit from the uh, logon form class and let's go ahead and design our logon form we will go and add two labels one for the username one for the password and we'll add two text boxes one for the username and the other one for the uh, for the password. Let's align the controls. Okay. Now let's add another label for the uh, error message. Let's have it. playing with red color and we can clear the error message for now let's call the uh, error label label error and let's clear the text now let's go and add two buttons one for the uh, login and one for the uh, clear let's change the uh, text say log on and clear we also have to define the uh, password test text box as password and let's change the uh, labels to say username and password Word. Now let's go ahead and double click the logon button and we will say if this dot text box dot text box one dot text equals web GUI which will be the username and this dot text box two dot text equals web GUI which will be the passwords then we will say this dot context dot session dot is logged on equals true and else we will say this dot label arrow dot text equals wrong username or password now we should have a uh, working logon form let's run the application Okay, we have to map the uh, logon form in the web config. Let's go and unmark the uh, authentication section and let's map it to our control, which the namespace is VWG demo and it's logon and the assembly is VWG demos as well. Now we should have a running logon form we have the logon form let's enter a wrong password and uh, username and password we'll have the uh, wrong username or password message message and let's enter web GUI and web GUI and we have entered into the application that's all for this tutorial, thank you for watching.